Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Your time's important to me as always. And what we're going to do in today's time is we're going to take a look at this Optic 60 spinning reel from Quantum. It's the larger size, the size you would use for maybe surf fishing or cat fishing. Personally, I'm going to use it for surf fishing. And we're going to take a look at this one. And then I have an older model Optic 60 also and kind of compare those two. Stick around. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, guys, let's get into it. This is the Optics 60 from Quantum. We're going to take our closer look at this reel. First, we'll do kind of nuts and bolts with it as far as uh, what it's all about. The gear ratio on this reel is 4.9 to 1. And what that means is if you're not familiar with gear ratios is for each complete revolution of the reel handle, so one complete turn of the reel handle, um, it's going to the spool is going to spin 4.9 times. In this reel, um, it's going to take in about 33 inches of line per handle turn. And I apologize if I sound nasally. I've got this head cold thing going on. Uh, it's kicking my butt. But anyway, um, that's the gear ratio on it. The drag on this is 16 pounds of drag. And you're like, I don't know if 16 pounds is going to be enough for a big surf reel or for a catfishing reel. I can tell you on the my old optics that we have, I used it for a lot of years because uh, this is not a new reel. It's been out quite some time. And... We caught some big fish on it when we caught some big um, stingrays. And that's something, if you guys have ever caught those, you know they kind of suck to the bottom like a big trash can lid with fins. And uh, they, they will run out some drag and they will test your reel and your rod both. But the, uh, the drag on it I think is more than sufficient uh, as far as a surf fishing reel goes. So guys, if you want to know the weight on this reel, it's 16.8 ounces. So it's just a little bit over a pound. It, it is a heavy reel. Of course, once again, it is a surf reel, so it is going to be, or you know, a big catfish reel. It's going to be heavier, but it does weigh a little over a pound, so it is. It's not a light reel. Um, it is a heavier reel. So if you're looking for something lighter, you might want to look at something else. But you're probably going to pay more because the price point on this reel is under thirty dollars. I personally paid like twenty four ninety nine for this reel. So twenty five bucks. You can find them even cheaper. You can find the optics for bass fishing for probably around twenty one, twenty two dollars, somewhere like that. But under thirty dollars normally for this reel. Um, so we're looking at that budget surfer. I just can't justify spending the money on say like a quantum cabo, which is a very, very nice surf fishing reel. Um, if I only go down there a couple times a year and I'm surf fishing just a couple weeks out of the year. So guys we'll start taking a closer look at this. Um, like I mentioned, I'm going to use this for surf fishing, but this is not a sealed reel. Uh, so in other words, it's not completely protected from the from the salt water, or the sand, or anything like that, which would be where this old optics comes in. Um, and you know, this reel still works and stuff. But what happened was, and you can hear, and I believe me, I've tried to get all the salt and sand out of it and everything else, but it got pulled through the surf. Uh, got ripped out of a sand spike and pulled through the surf, and it was in the water for a good 10 or 15 seconds, and. Uh, it pretty much did a number on it because you guys know there's nothing harder on gear than salt, water, and sand for sure. So back to the new version of the optics here. Um, we'll kind of start with the, the grip and the handle here. It's got an oversized grip on it, which is nice. I mean, I've got big hands and it fits in my hand really nicely. Um, the handle on it is a little bit oversized too. Of course, it is a larger reel for those heavier applications you're going to use it for. Um, it is an aluminum assembly on this. The spool is aluminum. It is ported here. Um, kind of done for aesthetics, but normally they do that too to take a little bit of weight off the reel. It is a metal uh, foot that comes up to connect into the reel seat. I'll let you guys see that a little closer too. That's important because uh, you want that solid connection from reel to your reel seat and the rod. Um, also, it has a aluminum bail on it right here. And I'm going to take this cap off the end of here, the spool cap off the end of here, and I'm going to show you the inside of this, uh, the gear that's in there and the construction in there. Like I say, aluminum spool. And if you guys aren't familiar with uh, a drag system on a spinning reel, if you turn it clockwise or to the right, okay, it's going to increase the drag. It's going to make the drag tighter. If you turn it to the left, you can hear the clicks, the audible clicks, It's and turn it counterclockwise, it's going to decrease the drag, okay? But if you also turn this, keep turning it to the left, you're going to be able to take this spool off and I'll show you the interior here. Okay guys, now that I've got this backed off and it takes just a minute there, um, back it off a little more and we can pop this whole assembly off like this. Uh, first thing I'll do is show you the inside here, get you a little closer look at that. 
uh, it is a metal gear with metal teeth, not plastic, which you will find in some budget reels. Not a good thing when you've got uh, plastic to metal, metal to plastic assembly. This is metal to metal. So um, that's all metal construction that's in through here and the spool shaft also metal. So then we'll look at the spool itself. I'll give you a closer view of the inside of there. Uh, you can see that that is that's metal construction that's down inside of there. There's a couple little brass parts on there with the spring and such but it's metal construction once again not plastic. What is plastic however though is the spool cap on here. That is a plastic spool cap so if that's a deal breaker for you you might want to try and find a different reel but I will say um, that that's normally what you're going to see on a lot of reels especially on, on budget reels but it's not a big deal at all it's just not a part of the reel that normal normally takes a lot of abuse or a lot of impact so next on the reel guys too if you're wondering more we're talking about the interior of it um, this is a four bearing system and you know bearings are not always indicative on how a reel performs uh, spinny reels bait casting reels guys think you know you get a, a, a 9 10 11 12 bearing system or more that it's just going to be smooth and glass and cool as the other side of the pillow doesn't always work like that um, you know when you talk bait casting reel there's some great four and five bearing system bait casting reels that are just phenomenal but back to this reel uh, four bearing system on it and i think it's very smooth and also when you spin the reel one thing i'm looking for on a spinning reel when you spin this handle fairly fast is the oscillation you can see it's vibrating side to side some that's the oscillation on it but i don't want it to have tons and tons of vibration in my hand on the rod and for the size reel this is it's really not that bad it doesn't have as much oscillation as you would think for a reel that's this big so now guys we'll kind of compare the the newer version to the older version of this like i say i'm wanting to say this one's four or five years old at least um because the optics has been around a while and I've, I've had it down to the coast many times kind of a lot of fish on it um you can see they they changed the color scheme on it some which is no big deal i mean that's just all about aesthetics right there uh they but they did change the handle design if you look on the older one it's kind of this uh, 45 degrees down to a 90 degree handle design this is just a sloping handle design on this um, when you do look up here on the top of this one compared to this one this is solid when it's coming down to the uh, the real uh, foot that's on there and that goes into the real seat but this one up here is ported it's vented um, it's aesthetically pleasing but normally it's done to take a little bit of weight off the reel I don't know the weight of the older optics optics if this is actually lighter like I say, this is 16.8 ounces, but um, I know that they've done a little bit of porting there, and that's normally done to take weight off of it. And you know, guys, when we're looking at the older version of this here, like I say, the only reason I'm getting a new one because it was my fault. It was all on me uh, letting this thing get drugged down the beach a little bit. Um, if not, I'd still be using this one, but it's performed fantastically over the years, um, especially for, like I say, a reel that's under $30. So we're going to get ready to put some line on this one and I'm gonna put P line Floroclear on there 25 pound test um, and if you're wondering what kind of line this one right here will hold it'll do 250 yards of 17 pound test in like fluorocarbon or mono and then I believe as far as the braid goes it's it's about 390 yards of 30 pound braid um, I don't personally use braid a whole bunch, but if you're wanting to do braid, it'll hold quite a bit of braid. But we're going to throw some of this line on there because I had 25 pound test on before. It just did a fantastic job. Put it on a rod and do some casting and we'll see what the castability is on this rod. Okay guys, so what I paired this uh, reel up with is a Berkeley Big Game 8 foot medium heavy rod. This is a fiberglass rod, so it's got a little bit different action to it uh, than some of the others. What I had it on before was uh, medium heavy Fenwick rod, eight foot also, but this rod's got a little bit different action to it. I want to do a separate video on this rod, a separate review video on this rod, so if you want to check it out, uh, stick around for that next video too. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead, first we're going to cast this two ounce pyramid seeker here, and uh, we're going to see what kind of distance we get out of it. So the two ounce. Guys, I'm almost to the other side of the this part of the lake here, and that's a solid 75 yards out there. Um, and I'm not, you know, heave hoeing it super, super hard. It's really getting some distance. Uh, it's performing just like the old one did, uh, except actually the, the reel on this is even smoother, I think. All right, guys, now we're going to do the three ounce pyramid sinker here, just a little bit heavier weight, because uh, usually two, three, sometimes maybe a four ounce I'm using there. Just depends, but this is pretty typical, I think, of the weight. Uh, two or three ounces most guys will surf fish with. So 
with that being said, let's give it a give it a cast. And it is out there too. About the same distance as the other, but uh I think if I sidearmed it a little bit more, I'd get even more distance out of the three ounce. But once again, uh, I'm really happy with it. So that's a closer look and a little review of the Optics 60 Quantum Reel. Uh, surf fishing reel, like I said, I've used the other one for a number of years. I'm super happy with it. I think for a budget outfit, as far as this rod and reel goes, but just the reel alone under a $30 price point, I honestly don't think you can go wrong, like I say, because I put the other one through the ringer and up until I actually dunked it in some salt water and it got drugged through sand, it did a great job. Uh, so for the money on this reel, I would highly recommend it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and got something out of it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, also, remember we're going to be doing a review on this rod and some other surf gear coming up too. Uh, I'll continue to do the bass fishing gear as well, but I'm going to do uh, a review of the Quantum uh, Cabo Reel and also uh, the Bama Bummy Stick and stuff like that. So we're going to have some other review videos coming at you real soon here too. And remember, until that next video, get out there and fish!